Hello and welcome to your gardening week. Well this winter weather really doesn't want to lose its icy grip does it? We've been putting spring back week after week and now it's getting cold again for the rest of this week but I think there is signs that towards the end of the week it's going to get mild again and in typical British weather it's flexing backwards and forwards but you know gardeners are hardy breed aren't they and we won't let that put us off so what sort of jobs can we be getting on with in the garden this week I'm going to you sow some of my dahlia seeds this week I save them each year from my dahlia plants particularly from dahlia bishop of Landaff the one with the really dark foliage and that way you get a mixture of different colours coming out and they're often referred to as Bishop's Children. I like to sow them in half seed trays in a mixture of horticultural grit and a peat free compost. Overfill the tray and use the edge of an off cut of wood to scrape off the excess compost and then a couple of taps on the surface of the table just to consolidate the compost in place. Then take the seeds and sow them fairly thinly over the surface of the compost. You probably don't need more than 20 seeds because otherwise you'll be overloaded with seedlings. And then cover lightly with a sprinkling of compost just so that the seeds disappear. Label them well and then put them in a warm propagator around 16 to 18 centigrade or on a warm sunny windowsill indoors somewhere where the seeds will germinate in a week or 10 days time. It's also a good time of year to cut back your hardy fuchsias. All the top growth has been killed by the winter weather and if you cut those back now it won't harm the roots underneath and the new shoots will come from below the ground and grow away strongly in the spring. So use a sharp pair of secateurs, trace the stems right back down to ground level, go on be brave, cut them hard back and take the woody prunings, break them up and put them on the compost heap. And last but by no means least check your potato tubers that you set to sprout a few weeks ago. These have been sitting in a cool, brightly lit place and they've started into growth really well. But I'm going to go through and rub off the extra shoots that I don't really need. I only need one or two shoots for each of the tubers and if any of them have started growing from the bottom rather than the top then simply turn the tuber over so that these shoots will start to grow up in the right direction. So there's a quick roundup of some of the things you can be getting on with this week despite the cold weather. While you're here don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you want more ideas of what to do in your garden over the coming weeks and months then visit my website davidhurrian.com. Keep warm 